Kenny McPeak joins me here. Swiss skydiver diver has just arrived. How did she take the trip? All good. Um, typical, you know, she gets here, gets here and gets excited. She jumped in the feed tub right away. And we gave her a short walk, but she's a um, com consummate professional, does everything right, and um, we're happy here. Happy we're here, and hopefully she has a good week. Absolutely, and of course, you made the decision quite late to go to the Preakness and not go against older mares. Can you tell us a little bit what went into that decision? You know, really a tough call. Um, you know, when Tisla opted out, it, it kind of changed our perspective of the race. Um, we looked at the sheet numbers and also the, the past performances, whether it was Briss or d daily racing form, and we really felt like she fit. We felt like she was probably third or better if she ran a race. Um, you know, preferably ran, running in a three-year-old Philly grade one would have been great. But, you know, look, this is a great race, and she doesn't have to take a racetrack with her. Um, and we had a little logistics issue with the jockey, which is you know, troublesome, but we're fine. You know, Robbie's been there, done that, but we're excited. And what you, this is not your first rodeo. You've had a couple of other runners in the Preakness. What will you be doing with her leading up to the race on Saturday? You know, it's basic stuff. She had her last breeze this past weekend at Churchill. Um, and I've had a third and a couple of fourths here in the Preakness and have always run fairly well. Um, last year we ran Signal Man, which um, he didn't run all that well. But um, every year we come back and we try to bring a good horse. And this will probably be the best chance I've ever had. Was he trying to emulate the great Rachel Alexandra? How do you think she stacks up against the boys? It's quite a competitive race. Well, I think it's wide open still. I mean, obviously, uh, authentic. If he runs his race back, he'll be formidable. Um, our collector we've run against, but I think the pace of that race unfolded a little bit against us. I think we went a little quick early. But, um, you know, it's a, a really good group of horses, and she, uh, like I said on paper, she fits and she doesn't seem to have any fear of anything, and neither do we. Oh, you have speed on your inside in our collection, and then Thousand Woods with the blinkers on, on her outside. Uh, what will be the game plan? Uh, we'll let Robbie take that. You know, I think her, her first half mile in 48 is really when she runs best. Uh, when we did that in, in New York, when we won the Alabama, she cruised the first half mile and then was able to punch home. And I do think that's her running style, and I think it's probably um, maybe a little off the pace as opposed to right on it. So we'll see. If, if nobody goes, we'll let her go. And if somebody goes, then we'll be patient. Well, now, getting a bit towards your emotions, are you excited? Are you nervous? No, I've been, I've been here before. Um, you know, I've been in the Triple Crown campaign since probably 1995. Um, I don't know if that makes me old or not, but that does add some experience. Um, I get psyched for these races. I love it. Um, I use the analogy to someone recently, you know, you can either hunt ele elephants or you can hunt mice. Um, if the lion hunts mice, he could starve to death even if he catches 50 of them. Um, I like hunting elephants and this is an elephant race. On that note, I wish you so much luck. I'd love to see her do it on Saturday. Yeah, we're excited. I, th I think it brings a lot of uh, appeal to the race. And for those that aren't watching that, you know, that don't normally watch, you can pull for the girl. Absolutely. Girl power. Mm-hmm.